Hi everybody. So here's my new uh, card charger for my Kia Soul. Uh, it's an EV and it came with this wonderful plug here. But that doesn't fit any receptacle in my house or my shop. And that is known as a uh, NEMA N E M A 6-20R or excuse me this is a 6-20P the P stands for plug so the R would be the receptacle and so what I needed to do was to make an adapter that would fit something I had in my house or garage and what I happened to have was a 220 circuit for the dryer which actually uses what's known as a range plug probably usually reserved for a stove, an electric stove. Uh, but both my house and my shop have this on the 220 circuit. This is what my uh, welder uses, the clothes dryer uses, uh, I have a drill press that uses this, I have a, a laser that uses this, so that plug seems to be pretty common in my house and in my shop. So what I was able to do was to just buy one of these. This one is known as the NEMA 1050P. Again, the P signifying that it's the plug, not the receptacle. And the 50 is signifying 50 amps. This also comes in a 30 amp, which is common in a lot of houses. Uh, but this top blade is L-shaped. And you can kind of see there, there's an opening for the L-shaped prong. Uh, this plug comes with both the straight prong and the L-shaped prong. So if your receptacle has the L-shape, you just put that prong in there instead. And then you can see I put a W on here. That's where the white wire was inside the receptacle. And I just made sure I connected the white wire to the white wire inside the cord and eventually wound up to the white wire inside this other plug, uh, which I verified went to the white wire inside this plug. Uh, what I have read is that the round plug is the ground and on this 220 circuit, both of these others are hot and they're supposedly interchangeable. But again, I just followed the white wire and tried to keep it consistent through the cord all the way to the, the other plug. Uh, so this is the NEMA 1050P from Home Depot. This was kind of expensive. It was uh, maybe 17, 18 bucks. Then I bought a short length, in this case four feet, of a three conductor cable. And this is a, I think it was a 10 gauge wire. It's rated for 300 volts. And then the other thing I needed, which I also bought at Home Depot, is the NEMA 620R. Again, mm -hmm. R signifying that it's the receptacle end. And other than that, it was pretty easy. Take the plug, find the white wire, connect the white wire, the white wire inside the cord. The green wire goes to the ground, which is a center, which is also the center on this one. And the other wire went to that last plug, matched everything up in there. So now I'm able to plug my car charger into the adapter, plug the adapter in where my clothes dryer goes, and I was able to charge up my Kia Soul. Thank you for watching.